Hello everyone, Jeremy Gerard from Mythic Customs here with one of my short customizing tutorial videos. Today we're actually going to be looking at these badgerine heads and how I paint them. So if you follow me online, if you follow my Instagram, which is at Mythic Customs, or you're on the Mythic Legion's Cabal and you see the photos I post there, or even if you watch my weekly Mythic Conversation show here on YouTube, you've probably seen me talk about these characters or this particular part for sure. Um, this badgerine head, I call it that because I painted it both like a badger and a wolverine, this was a project that I helped bring to life. So I conceived of this, this critter character, the, this badger type warrior, and I worked with a wonderful sculptor named Walter DeMarco who goes by Mass Customs to bring that idea to life. Uh, Len LaGuardia, who runs the Wolf King Customs uh, shop, he printed these for my personal use and he also made some available to customers through his site. Now he sold both painted pieces that I painted and he sold unpainted pieces so my fellow customizers like you can take a shot at it yourself. Now, if you're new to customizing and this is one of your first projects you're trying out, this is actually a really good project to start with because these Badger and Wolverine heads are actually pretty easy to paint. They're not incredibly detailed like a human face or a dwarven face would be. Um, that's not to say that they don't have the right level of detail, it's just they're, they're animals. It's a badger and a wolverine, so the amount of detail that you need to execute that sculpture is going to be a lot less than what you would need for all of the expressions and the features of a human face. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I paint each of these. You can follow these steps if you're doing this for your first time, hopefully this will help you at home. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the Wolverine. So the Wolverine uses two different shades of brown. The, what I do is I spray paint it with a base coat of this light brown. So this is a Krylon color called Brown Boots. I spray that first. Now, because these heads are three-dimensional, um, you're gonna need to probably do a couple different coats. You wanna do some light coats. You don't wanna hit it too heavy so it gets liquidy and it pools up in those fine features. The, there are some fine details here in the fur. You wanna maintain that. So do a couple light coats. And what you're gonna probably have to do is turn it around a few times. Um, when I spray paint these, I do it on a table like in the middle of my garage so I can access it from all 300. 160 degrees so I can spray it from the front hit the side hit the back and the other side um, even still after that's all done I will then have to flip it over and get the underside of the head as well so it will take probably a few different coats to get that coverage once you've got that base coat the next thing you're going to do is some some brush type painting um, specifically some dry brushing so you can see the front of the badger's head or the wolverine I should say his head is got a darker brown and it comes right from like the brow line down. So what I do is I take a darker brown color and realistically any darker brown will do. Um, this is a pretty dark brown because I wanted there to be a lot of contrast and then I just lightly dry brush that on. Now I dry brush it not because I don't want full coverage but because I want to control the coverage and once again I don't want wet paint blowing out some of the sculptural details. So I do all of that dark brown paint. Now the nose is black, but don't worry about that. Paint right over the nose. You're going to put the black on the nose after. So I paint all of that and it goes right underneath it as well. When you get this sculpture in hand, you'll see there's almost like a line underneath the chin that guides you as far as where you have to paint. Um, the great thing about this is because it's fur, it doesn't need to be exact. These are not hard lines. These are not hard lines where you've got like human skin and like sculpted hair where you want the skin to be skin color and the hair to be the color of the hair. This is all fur, so really how high you go, if there's a little bit of a, you know, over it, overage on, you know, above the brow, it's all going to look fine based on what you want to accomplish. Once you have the coverage there, I take that same brown with a smaller brush, a little bit maybe of a detail brush, and I get on the insides of those ears. The last part is you're going to get some black paint, another detail brush, you're going to paint the nose black and you're going to paint the eyes black. You're going to want a very, very fine brush. The eyes are very, very small. Just a little dab to get those eyes and you will have your Wolverine. Next is the Badger. 
So for the badger, I start with a base coat of white. This is what I use. This is Design Master Flat White. I mean, realistically, any colors, any light brown and white, they'll work for you. I'm just showing you the ones that I use. I like that one a lot. What I did with the badger head is I start with that base coat of white. Again, you're gonna have to flip it over and get all different sides. Then I take my black paint and I brush on the details of those markings, those traditional, you know, badger-like markings that are on the eyes. Now you'll notice the tips of his ears are still white. Um, I painted over those with the black and then re-added white to those tips. Trying to maintain the white that's already there from the base spray is not gonna be, it's not gonna make a lot of sense, it's gonna make it a lot harder on you. Just paint right over with the black and then come in last with a little bit of white to get those tips. Um, before you get to those tips though, after you do those, those that pattern, those facial markings, use that same black, use a fine detail brush to get that nose as well. Um, if you want, you can put a little bit of black around the neck hole there. When I used my custom, I used a black neck uh, piece on it. So I wanted the black of the head to kind of match the black of the neck piece, but that's optional. Realistically, you don't see really the underside of that area when it's on the figure to begin with. Base coat of white, paint the facial markings in nose and black, and then add those little white tips. Now the last one we have here is a skunk. Now this painted version was not offered by Wolf King Customs. They may offer this style painted head in the future, uh, but the sculpture itself is the same one as the Badger and the Wolverine. So. Again, this is a painting tutorial. If you're gonna get these unpainted pieces and you're gonna paint them yourselves, you can absolutely do a skunk. The skunk is actually probably the easiest one of the group. It's just some black spray paint. This is the one that I prefer. This is the Krylon Color Master Flat Black. You spray paint all of that base in black. And then what I do is I take a little bit of white on a small brush, a small flat brush, and I dry brush on that skunk stripe going from between the eyes, right above the snout, between the eyes, all the way to the back. And you can see that it actually starts really thin in front and it gets thicker as it gets to the back, kind of filling up the whole back area. Um, lastly, I took the white and I actually decided to paint the eyes white on the skunk only to give it some contrast. Um, black eyes on the fully black head I felt was not gonna provide the contrast. Um, it's really subtle. I also used a very dark gray on his nose as well. Might not show up great on camera, but in person you can certainly see that it's not just black and it adds a little bit more detail. So again, these are really, really easy pieces to paint. If you are getting started and this is where you're starting, I think you've made a really, really good choice. Um, in all instances, I will tell you that when you use these heads, they are the openings are made a little bit larger than Mythic Legions. That way they're compatible with not only Mythic Legions, but with other lines as well. A little bit of mounting putty. I use this little bit of blue tack that I get from Amazon. Put that on the neck post and the head will sit on really, really nicely. Um, if you want to protect it, use a little bit of like testers uh, spray. They have like a matte spray that you can use on there. I did a whole painting video specifically about painting where I show the the spray I use. Check that out if you're interested. Um, if you grab these, I can't wait to see what you make with them. If you like videos like this, please let me know in the comments. Give the video a like, and certainly if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. That will let you know when videos like this one go live. Thanks for looking. I can't wait to see what you make.